I see Neen is back on YouTube. Like, shout out to Neen, legendary pro, and then he kind of switched into like food influencer, I want to say. And with food influencer, he made, he opened a restaurant with someone in, I think it's in Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas is where Joe Rogan lives. Joe Rogan went there and he like hard posted on his Instagram like, yo, I went to this restaurant and it was actually sick. And I was like, what the heck? Me posting Neen Williams setup? But yeah, all this stuff was like three years ago that he was posting just random influencer fitness health guy stuff, food stuff. He had a bit of skating five years ago, but now he's posting skating again. So I was curious if we have a look. Damn, one day ago, I only saw these two. This is not skating. Wait, what? That's not skating. Okay, but we got this one. Current setup and skate park session. I'm kind of curious. <laughs> Love the title. So my head is, my head of times two. My current setup. I've been skating this setup for over a year now. I absolutely love it. This is my newest graphic. From over a year? That board is one day old. I think he just means these specifications. Okay, skateboards. This is called the Demon Slayer. It's a play off of my Beast Slayer graphic. I did the art for this. He's stoked on how this came out. We got the foil background here, nice and reflective. Um, it's kind of a play off of a demon, like a kabuki demon. So, um, you know, slaying the demon. I love graphics like this, just old school, hand-drawn. We might have to do times two. I also grew up watching a lot of anime, so it's kind of something that reminds me of my childhood. So I wanted to do something like that right now for my graphics, so that's what I did. So the board that I'm currently writing is an 8.47 wide deck. I always find it funny, like, come on, man, just write an 8.5. Why does it have to be 8.47? Like, do we really have to make it 8.47? Do you mean 8.5? Because I'm pretty sure you do. But anyway, uh, Neen actually went to Braille one time, but I wasn't there. And he, like, did a sick-looking heel flip. The foodie makes so look so good. Wider. It has a taper of the nose. And has he ever tail. been sponsored by HelloFresh? I shrunk the wheelbase to 14 inches. Um... I was talking to someone in Puerto Rico, one of my friends, and he just brought up the whole wheelbase talk. I don't know much about it, but I guess... It wheelbase is an interesting topic, and what it represents is... What it represents is this. The true wheelbase is this point of axle distance to this axle. People usually measure it from the bottom of your truck, which is not really true. People measure it from the kingpin, which is also not true, but the true is from the axles. And the reason that I say it's from the axle is because some trucks, the axle even sits further and closer. So if you wanted to make your wheelbase further or closer and you want to ride a specific board, you could actually change trucks. But also at the same time is like, I just think skateboard is skateboard. Like who really cares that much if it's, if it's different, it's like, you can kind of go crazy if you care a little bit too much about it, but it definitely, if it definitely has some legitimacy, of course, for sure. If you're shorter, like I am, I'm five six, five seven. Um, a shorter wheelbase is actual can actually skate better, right? Because my legs aren't super long, my femurs aren't super long, so the timing. Of but see, like better, like better doesn't better's not a good answer it should be like for flipping my board for popping higher for skating street it is better not just in general but i i guess that's what it means snapping my nose and spinning tricks is a lot okay, yeah. more responsive and faster than a longer board so i was very interested in this don't quote me i don't know if that's right but i was very interested in this so i decided to try it out and ever since i tried it out I've absolutely loved it, so I just kind of stuck with it for the past year. It's been very responsive, snaps faster, I can pop higher, it spins faster. I can do Molly 360s a lot faster as well, I spin a lot faster. I ride 149 Thunders, I like them to be the original Thunders, um, completely solid, I don't like the lights. I feel like I need some density, some mass, I can throw mass further, like if you grab a rock and throw it. A little pedal I can't throw as far. But What's the rule of thumb for deck size to truck size? So the deck size is measured this way, which this way the wheelbase and stuff doesn't matter. So if he has 8.47, 8.47, 8.47, 8.47, 8.47, 8.47, 8.47, 8.47, 8.47, 8.47, 8.47, 8.47, 8.47, 8.47, 8.47, 
deck, he can never have 8.47 trucks because it doesn't exist, but he can get 8.5 trucks, uh, which is, I'm sure, what he had. But you wouldn't want to have 8.25 trucks with an 8.5 deck. It might feel weird. I ride the triple G shake jump A back seven bearings. A back? Super good. All of my equipment is super old except for the board. I skate my trucks, wheels, and bearings as long as I can until basically they fall off and I have to switch them. So yeah, triple G, A back seven, shake jump bearings, still super good, super fast. I pop the shields off just because I like the noise. I don't like my board to sound like a uh, like a waterlogged deck. And I feel like when I leave the shields on, it sounds waterlogged and I can't stand that sound. So I pop them off, board sounds crispy. Wheels, I have the Satori conical wheels. They're a kind of chunky square shape. There's a little bit more mass to them, so your flip tricks. Are a little off yeah, people debate whether the wheel being more square helps you like lock into grinds versus if it's more rounded if it doesn't or not. First, I don't know what I really it. think or care. I kind of just do whatever. Conicals for me is that they lock into rails super good. So yeah, finals, 50-50s, all of that stuff just locks straight in. You can put all your weight into it. I just love how they feel compared to a classic shape. These are the top shelf formula, which are harder to flat spot. They're smoother, they're faster. He really uh, is a troll. I, really like, I like how they sound. Hectic. They sound harder. They're not super slippery. And if you have a chance, I don't really know that much about Neem, apart from seeing his skating and just seeing his influencer uh, food stuff kind of from afar. Um, those are shake junk, of course. Nuts and bolts, get it while you can. Grip tape, black onyx, shake junk, the grip is. And as for the shape itself, it's just a V16. 8475, 14-inch wheelbase. I don't have to run them over with my car anymore because we got it nailed and they come nice and flat for me. So I've been really stoked on that. Super flat concave. That's how I like it. He used to like park his car on his boards. I remember it was kind of like a talking point. And he would uh, park his car on it overnight so it made him flatter. So it had like what means flatter is like less concave of the tails. Um, because he wanted like a flatter shape. But I guess now they Other got him to just that, make a flatter shape. That's pretty much my setup. I believe you get B16s. Production style, but I'm not sure if you get the four. But yeah, some games. people get really so nerdy about it. Kind of hard to get the signature shape that I skate that definitely makes specifically for me. If you see me around and you really want one, and I have one on me. Maybe I'll be able to hook you up. In the comments, let me know what you skate, size board, wheels, all that stuff, what you prefer, and uh, let's get the conversation going. I'd be so to see. Nice call to action. Where are you being? He's here now. Been around, haven't had much time to focus on content with bad life and other things going on, but I plan to come back. All right, let's watch his skate bug review. Starting a new series. This oh, we got a mic now. Let's go. We progressing. This is my little skate park reviews. So I'm going to walk you through the skate park, show you what I like, what I don't looks like. like a nice of park. course, this is all my opinion when it comes down to skating skating certain a5 obstacles. feels huge i agree it's all your preference my preference is going to be different than another person's preference let's go ahead and jump through this so this is the elk grove skate park this is one of my favorite skate parks i come here to skate the bench and the flat bar which is a circle flat bar there are a bunch of other obstacles here at this skate park some wins some they almost had it of course in my opinion let me give you a quick walk <laughs> i hate a frame rails i'm going to skate a little bit i hate so the the how trendy they are park is pretty good They're no one wants them five foot tall um super good tranny maybe a little bumpy but good coping doesn't pop out too much isn't too sunk in looks like Definitely it's kind of like steep it. this circle bar right here is super but fun probably about 12 feet long i love a frame rails and a I good hate it. I love skating a bump to rail and I love skating a down rail, but I hate skating and bump up to down rail. I really, I just don't get it. I don't see why I would want that. Circle. That does look like a fun flubber. There we go. And now we'll go to the centerpiece, the stairs. My favorite section, stair, handrail, hub mix. It's what I love to skate. But I actually have never skated this set of stairs or this rail. There's a couple reasons. Let me show you. So the height of the rail is awesome. It's a lower rail. It's a little bit long, so you, you'll stay on the rail for a while, which is great. But the problem that I don't like is this last stair is so long that when you mess up, you basically land with one foot on the stair. You don't sack, but one foot's on the stair, which is sketchy to me because it's very easy to injure your ankle by landing on the stair or landing on the corner of the stair, which I do not like. Another thing I don't like about this is there's this little crack right here, so it really affects you when you ollie. You can feel your board kind of... Yeah, that's a terrible crack. I've rail into the bank a couple times, run the clip. So beside... ...times, run the clip. So besides that crack and the lengthy stairs, this hubba is perfect size. This rail 
is fun size as well, which I love. This little slappy pad is pretty fun. So we have a... Death Gap. We basically have a... That's the name. Death Gap. What is this thing called? Death Gap. Death Gap. So it's gap. basically a wedge to wedge, a kicker ramp no. to kicker ramp. Death but Gap. But there's a gap in the middle. I personally don't like this when there's a gap in the middle. I like, <laughs> I like those. A flat top. Just no. in case you don't clear it. There's no in case. We want the risk. Gap to gap, but there's always that chance of you not clearing it. And then you have this. If this has a flat top and you like filmed a nollie tray over it and post on Instagram, like not that posting on Instagram is everything, but like if you post on Instagram, no one would care. But if it was a death gap and you post on Instagram, they go, oh, hell yeah, that was sick, homie. Really horrible hang up slam, which I do not enjoy. And when I'm at a skate park, I'm trying to have fun. I'm trying to learn new tricks. My life is winter. No worries. Appreciate you being here. We went on a fun journey together. <laughs> uh, thanks for pulling up. I'll see you next time. I can't really see myself learning new tricks. This I'm going right to leave the stream on, but I'm out. No I worries, Philippine. Like the coping. Slide Appreciate super you. good. Grind super good. It's almost about knee high for me. So it's a little bit on the higher end, but it is a super good bench. <laughs> 10 foot pit in there. Well, then I might start to get scared, but little heel flip curve. A little death gap is quite nice. Heel flip back feety. Is that really what we're going for? What the heck? It's kind of high for that. There we go. Heel so we have some more transition over here in this side. Kind of a weird transition. I think it's yeah, about what... six feet tall. It's kind it of... looks like it's it's too steep for its size. Is my initial uh, um, oral. I mean, not oral. What's what's like looking at visual assessment? Steep, kind of big, weird little bowl corner. I'm not really a fan of this section right here. There's also an A-frame on the other side with a circle bar that goes up and down. Let's see if he likes A-frame. So that is my breakdown of this Elk Grove Damn. Park. I love the bench. I love the oh. flat bar. <laughs> the A-frame looks fun. He didn't say if he likes it. A-frame hubbas are fun as well. The hub is a good. There are some cracks that kind of mess up some obstacles. And this is my opinion. Some people, cracks don't bother them. Other people, they freak out. It's, it's a mental battle. Your tricks don't flip right. And that just messes up your skateboarding. This park is super fun. <laughs> I usually come to this park once or twice during the week. Why do I find it so funny that it's 7.2? Like, why can't it just be 7? What's 7.5? Your tricks don't flip right, and that just messes up. Well, 7.25. This park is... Couldn't we get... Couldn't we push to 7.25? <laughs> and, like, I'm not, I'm not making fun of Neen. I think this is sick that he's making the content. But I just think it's kind of, like, why? Super fun. I usually come to this park once or twice. Not that good. During this, the week. this is a great local park. If they ever built this near your house, you are blessed because this is such a nice park. Skate the stairs, skate the down, skate the death gap, skate the flat. You got a nice ledge, you got a nice rail. Like, this is a dream local, basically. Or one of the other parks just to practice my tricks, sharpen my swords, and, you know, get a trick ready for the weekend to film. I hope you enjoyed my little skate park review. Leave a comment down there in the comments. If you want to see a specific trick for me to try or a trick for me hit him to with do, a trick let request? me know. I'm going to read those comments and I'm going to take my top favorite tricks that I want to try. All right, I'm hitting I'll try him. them on either the next review or one of the reviews. Well, I'm, I've got him ready. Let's see a double heel flip into grind. A crook shove. <laughs> Let's see a crook shove on a steep down hubba. <laughs> I kind of want to watch like a non-skating one now. Oh yeah, this is what he was talking about before. See, like it kind of went like viral-ish lo last time because it's like, why do I run over my decks? Ooh. 
I could have learned some stretching from him. Let's see this. So I'm making this video today to show you what I eat in the morning and what I take out with me on a day of skating. Who is sponsored by? So I usually start my morning with about 40 to 50 grams of protein and about 80 to 100 grams of carbs. Today I completed this by eating a few eggs and some thinly sliced ribeye. Yeah, fry up. I washed that down with a little shake, with a banana, a cup of frozen fruit, about a half a cup of milk. I added another banana in there for a little bit more carbs. Carbs help with energy and also building muscle. I almost forgot the creatine. Creatine helps with building lean muscle. Also helps on the back end. Oh, water. that's too thick. There's a bunch of other Bro, we needed some water in there. Now let's pack for the day. That was too I thick. I usually fill up my water bottle with water and a little bit of Celtic salt to help replenish minerals. Element. And help me stay hydrated throughout the session. Normally I add about two tablespoons of honey to my water, but today I'm all out. This provides energy throughout my session. I also bring a couple dates with me, super high in carbs, great for providing energy throughout the day. I'm also gonna bring an apple with me, pack two protein shakes with me so I could get 40 grams of protein after I skate or in between my skate session. Sometimes we're just out there getting after it and we don't stop to eat food. So I always make sure to have a protein shake on me. So when I get a little hungry, I just slam that protein shake. I'm good to go. I'll eat my apple, eat some dates and keep on skating. It's better to be prepared than to not have anything or to settle for less. Then we're going to take our supplement and get super exhausted and then randomly eat a big Panda Express meal day. and giant Dr. Alpha Pepper, brain, a multivitamin and some vitamin D. So that is it for what I usually eat for breakfast. Sometimes it's steak. What does it say? It's not steak. It all depends. Pack sometimes for the I day. NADC. Cheese, stuff like that. Sometimes I have oatmeal instead of a shake. But this was today's breakfast. If you have any questions, let me know down there in the comments. I'll be checking those. I'll